All right, I'm out here today taking the first shots out of the 10 millimeter four inch Rock Island. Pretty excited about that. We've got the Infinity Targets uh, self-healing target out there. Uh, they sent us that and we're gonna check it out, see what it's all about and see how well it works. If you like versatility, durability, high quality, and a massive product catalog that's all made in America, then you need some G-code in your life. Specifically, what you need is this unit right here, and it's a mouthful, so let's see if I can get through saying it in the first take. This is the G-code Scorpion Low-Viz belt system. And let me tell you, this is one of the most high quality pieces of equipment that you can get your hands on. You know, one of the things that I really love about the G-Code system is that it is so easy to go from, say, this 10 millimeter Rock Island to something else. You've got a little clip here that you push in. This holster just comes right off. Then you can grab something like the uh, Magnum Research 1911. Just put that on there, press down, press that lock button, and you're in business. Whether you need a belt for duty use, range use, competition, or professional LARPing, this guy right here, this is the one that you want to look into. Let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at what G-Code has to offer. When you go onto the G-Code site, you're gonna see that they have four different belt rigs available. Um, each of them are different, so we're gonna talk about some of the differences there uh, before we go ahead and move on to specifics. First is the competition starter kit, and as the name suggests, it is set up specifically for shooting competition. It comes with four mag carriers, a holster, and the belt itself. It's legal for use in the big three, IDPA, IPSC, and USPSA. I do wanna go ahead and get one of these competition starter kits and maybe do a little bit of local shooting and then uh, put some of that content onto my second channel, which I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you wanna go check that channel out. As far as the more duty use type options for belt rigs, you have three different options. You have this one, the Scorpion Low Viz. There's the Scorpion Assaulter System. Nobody wants to be assaulted by a Scorpion. Then there's the top tier choice, which is the Rapid Response Kit. All three of these packages come with this Scorpion Low Viz package, but then there are other things added on that are of course going to increase the price. For instance, the only difference between this Scorpion Low Viz kit and the Assaulter kit. The Assaulter kit, it comes with an attached medical kit. It also comes with two pistol pouches and two rifle pouches. In comparison, the Scorpion comes with no medical kit, but it comes with three and three. So you get three uh, mag pouches for your pistol and three for your rifle. Now, if you wanna go for the full package, the rapid response kit, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. What you're going to get though, is essentially the assaulter system with the addition of a chest rig, three more mag pouches for your rifle, and if you want, you can add a suspension pouch uh, that you can hang from the chest rig for, I don't know, I think it's an additional 35 bucks or something. Your suspension pouch, you can keep all kinds of gear in there, um, whether it be, you know, cleaning kit or snacks or whatever, you know, I'm not gonna judge you. That's the basic difference between all of the combinations of belt kits that G-Code has. When I reached out to G-Code, I asked them if they would send me out one of these Scorpion uh, low-vis belt systems for me to test out and review. They were really cool about it, even though I told them that if I hated it, I was gonna go ahead and put them on blast. So big shout out to G-Code. I appreciate you guys sending me out all this equipment to test out. And 
letting me just be me. The first thing of importance to talk about with these belts is the sizing. If your pants are a size 32, your belt is not going to be a size 32. Follow those directions very carefully. There's some instructions down at the bottom of the page. Make sure that you follow them. You don't want to do the same thing I did, which was get an incorrect measurement, make your order, and wait a couple weeks for it to show up just to be disappointed that it was several inches larger than it needed to be. These belts are all made to have a four inch variation within their adjustments. So whatever size it is that you think that you are, it's gonna be able to increase or decrease four inches from there. Double check before you make your order. You can order these belts with no inner belt. You can order them with a padded inner belt. You can order them with the uh, Velcro uh, inner belt as well. Now me, I kind of like this padded inner belt option right here. Um, it's nice and comfortable. It gives you a little bit of cushion between, you know, your belt and the weight that you're carrying on that belt uh, and your skin. So it's not going to dig into you as much. That particular option is a real quick and easy way to just grab your belt and go um, because you size the belt to yourself with that padded inner belt and just click it together and you're ready to leave the house. The padded inner belt, it's a quick and easy grab and go belt solution. I can chuck this thing in the car on range day, you know, head out to the gravel pit. And then when I get there and I get everything set up, I can just pull it out and snap it around my waist and I'm ready to start shooting. The other option is the Velcro inner belt. Now the Velcro inner belt is a little bit more secure, but it's more of a pain in the ass to get on. The Velcro inner belt, it's gonna go through your belt loops just like your standard belt. That's what's gonna hold up your pants. And then when you get to the range, um, you can take this belt, which has Velcro on the inside and just strap it around your waist. Um, same thing, then you're ready to go. It is a lot more secure that way. When you're using the padded inner belt, uh, you may get a little bit of shifting, whether it's the belt twisting or moving up and down when you go to draw. It's gonna move a little bit because there's nothing really holding it in place other than it's squeezing down around your waist. With the Velcro option, the Velcro inner belt is going through your belt loops, holding your pants up, and now your outer belt here is stuck to the inner belt uh, with the Velcro. So it's not gonna shift, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna get a nice, tight, secure draw every time. Here I've got the STI, not the STI like, oh shit, we better go see a doctor, but the STI as in company formerly known as STI, currently known as Staccato. And it works exactly like everything else when it comes to the G-code belt. I can go ahead and just slide it, click it in, lock it in place, and we're ready for business. You know, it's been a little while since I've shot this gun, and I really kind of forgot how smooth it runs. The next important option that they give you on the website is going to be magazine type. What I have here is the short version. They have a short version and a long version or, or short and tall. Um, what I have in them are three mags for my M&P. Now, of course, the M&P mags are roughly the same size as Glock mags. The first mag here, it is a standard 15 round mag with no extension. The second one is going to be a 15 round mag with a plus six extension. And then the third mag here, this one is going to be a 17 round mag and it has a plus six extension on it as well. Now, if you order the tall mag pouches, just expect for there to be a little less exposure of the, the mag body. The reason that I opted in for the shorter of the two is that I like to have a little bit more of that mag body exposed to be able to grab a hold of and, and grip and pull those magazines out. I was a little bit concerned whether or not I was gonna be able to get a good grip on my 15 round mags if I ordered the taller of the two magazine carrier options. Another thing that these belt sets come with is the mounting platform to be able to mount your holster. Now, they don't come with a holster, and I know that stings, but the system is set up to be the base to which you build your ultimate gun belt with. The mount that they include, it's kind of a, a mid-length type mount. I do have their drop leg platform mount here somewhere in this mess of an office, um, and it sits right about mid-thigh or so. 
the one that comes on the belt, it's just a slight drop from the belt line. And not only that, but it is the RTI connection type. Before we go any further, let's talk about that RTI hanger system real quick. A lot of holster companies, uh, when they make the outside the waistband holsters, you have the option to have them drilled out for that RTI hanger system. It's really started to become kind of an almost universal hanger system. I have a whole handful of different holsters here uh, for the guns that I shoot the most. And all of them can quickly and easily swap out with this RTI hanger system onto this gun belt. Again, it's super simple. I've got the holster here for the 10 millimeter m and I just go ahead, slide it in place, lock it, and we're good to go. Now the RTI mount that's actually on the belt, it's universal, so it can be rotated around to be used either on the left side or right side, depending on which hand you prefer. Once you have your adapter plate mounted to your holster, like I do here on the Pack and Holsters Duty Holster for the 10 millimeter m and then it's as easy as just clicking it in place and locking it to that RTI hanger. So right now I think I have six different holsters for six different guns that I can quickly and easily swap out between on this belt system. Now you may not see that as a big deal, I get it. Like, okay, cool, uh, I can swap out six different uh, holsters onto my belt system quickly and easily, except that's not the way that, that I shoot at the range. I'm just showing you the versatility aspect though. What you gotta understand though is that it's not just the belt as far as the RTI hanger system goes. G-Code has a shit ton of different accessories and options on their website. All of these options are going to be compatible with that hanger system. Let's say for example, you wanna go ahead and use something like a drop leg platform to go hiking with, and you wanna take your 10 millimeter that previously was on your standard um, Scorpion Lovis belt system. You just take it off, install it, lock it into place, and you're ready to go hiking with it. They have the paddle style belt adapters. They have Molly adapters. They even have another one that mounts in your vehicle. So you can take that same holster, click it off, and then click it in place uh, inside of your car or truck or whatever. That way it's mounted nice and securely. It's not like those stupid ass magnets. There is so much that you can do within that G-Code ecosystem once you start getting into it. Legitimately, you could spend over an hour just navigating through their website, finding new cool stuff. So that's it, that's the RTI hanger system. It is incredibly adaptive, super cool, and now we can move on. So when I ordered this belt, I ordered it in black multicam. I don't know why, but I've really just kind of had an eye for black multicam these last couple years. I really like the look. I'm trying to get all my gear kind of uh, matching. Now, if that's not your preference, that's okay. They've got a lot of other options for you. The color combinations, they all go really well together. Like as far as the pieces that, that go together for the mag carriers, you know, the, the plastic outer, um, the inner piece, and then the cordage that holds them together. These are actually really cool though. These scorpion mag pouches, these things are super tough and they have this cool little drawstring here. So if you want to tighten or loosen the retention on your magazines, it's as easy as untying this, giving it a little slack or, you know, tightening it up depending on which way you want to go. What I really like about these Scorpion mag pouches is that they're basically, for the most part, going to be universal. Obviously these rifle mag pouches, they're going to work with your standard P mags. They're also going to work with your metal AR mags, but they're also going to work with pretty much any AK mag you can throw out excluding drums, of course. You're not gonna have to readjust for all different manner of mags. Because they're held together with that shock cord stuff, um, they kind of flex a little bit, and you should be able to just put whatever mag that you want in there, within reason, of course. When it comes to the pistol mags, the pistol mags are gonna be a little bit different. Um, so far they work with everything that I've tried to put in there. The only exception, of course, being single stack magazines. You can, of course, put single stack mags in there. They just don't fit real tight. That's fine though, I don't do a lot of like 1911 training. Generally speaking, if I'm shooting one of my 1911s, 
I'm just plinking around, having some fun. Everything else that I own though, the mags fit in there perfectly. Not only do they fit in there perfectly, but I haven't had to adjust the mag carrier for any different mags. Whether it's my Polymer 80, my M&P 9mm, my M&P 10mm, um, let's see, the STI, oh, the Rock Island Armory Double Stack, all of those guns, the mags fit in there perfectly. Hell, I can even fit CZ Scorpion mags or MP5 mags in those pistol mag carriers. I think if you want a mag carrier for those type of mags, you'll wanna go with the taller ones because with the shorter mag pouches, um, the CZ mags or MP5 mags, um, they hang out quite a bit, but it's possible, you can do it. I just really like these mag pouches. I think they're super cool. Not only are they pretty much universal, but they're also really secure. The inside of the mag pouches, they're lined with this, I don't know, it's like a, it's a weird rubberized type material, which is nice because that grips onto your mag and keeps them really secure. Because of that rubberized material in there, you don't need to cinch down your mag pouches super tight. Um, you can leave them somewhat loose, I guess. Uh, and your mag's not going to go anywhere. They're so secure, in fact, that you can't draw them out like you normally would uh, with a, a standard, I don't know, Kydex mag carrier. So we'll talk about this more in the office, but I thought I'd do a quick demonstration. Uh, the G-Code mag pouches have this rubberized lining in there, so uh, you get a little bit of friction if you try to pull straight up, and nobody likes a lot of friction. So, the best way to remove the mag from this mag pouch is to push outward a little bit as you pull up. So, give it a little bit of outward tension, like so, and up. It's a little bit weird at first, but once you've done a few reps, it's just second nature. Now, every time that I grab this belt and I head to the range, I really have to stop and acknowledge the craftsmanship that went into creating this thing. All of the materials, they are the highest quality possible. The belt itself, it's thick, it's durable. All of the stitching is very even and uniform. Not only is it even and uniform, but there's plenty of it. It's not like some of the other belt systems out there where they go with, you know, a single or a double stitch all the way around and call it good. You know, those are the type of belt systems that when you start putting some weight on there and really start using them, they're not going to last you a long time. The G-Code belt, though, I am confident that I'm never going to have to buy another belt again unless I, A, lose a bunch of weight, or B, gain a bunch of weight. That's the only thing that I can think of that would make me have to replace this belt would be a sizing issue. G-Code's not making cheap crappy gear over in China that you're gonna have to buy and replace in a couple of years. No, you buy this belt, chances are you're never gonna have to buy another gun belt as long as you live. Not only that, but you're going to be happy with this gun belt the entire time. You're not gonna get that buyer's remorse. And I know for a lot of people, the price on this thing is gonna be a real turnoff. Starting at just over $300. I know for a lot of people that is more than you wanna spend for a belt system with a handful of mag carriers. I know that's kinda of how I felt uh, about a year and a half ago or so when I came across these and was kind of looking into buying one. The thing is though, yes, you can get cheaper options. You can get an Uncle Mike's or whatever from the dusty back corner of every gun store and gas station in America. You might be happy with it. Hell, it might even last you a while. One of the things that I've learned in life is that you don't know what you're missing until you know what you're missing. If you have a chance to try out one of the G-Code products, you're gonna see the quality, the durability, the craftsmanship. It's gonna be obvious to you why it is that they cost what they cost, and you're gonna have a hell of a time going with anything else after that. That goes for everything that G-Code produces. Their holsters, their belt systems, uh, they have dog collars, they have, they have a lot of stuff. You gotta get on there and check it out.
if you are in the market for a belt system, you have to go to the G-Code site and check them out. I am a firm believer in the idea of buy once, cry once. Support a company that makes their product in America. These belts, the Scorpion mag carriers, the G-Code holsters, it's all good stuff. And this should be the first direction that you look toward. Go check it out. Hit that link below. That's all I got today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you back here real soon.